I'm Fox 4 meteorologist Andrew Shipley, and we all know that Hurricane Ian really beat up our beaches with that storm surge. Also, Idalia this past summer really showed us how vulnerable our coastal communities to more additional storm surge thanks to erosion. And then even a coastal system just this past October brought water from the beach all the way up to the edge of the parking lot here at Bowditch. I wanted to find out how vulnerable are we to the next storm. In Fort Myers, Sanibel, and uh, Bonita Spring beaches, and uh, the storm overwhelms the entire system. It may not come as a surprise, but our dune system, like many of our natural protections, were severely damaged by Hurricane Ian's storm surge. That required emergency burn projects in Lee and Collier counties. We can't build anything high enough for Ian, uh, basically, in my opinion. However, we don't get Ian often. But then came Hurricane Idalia this past summer. While it stayed offshore, it eroded our dunes once more and pushed storm surge onto numerous roadways. That has now left many of our coastal communities at, again, a higher risk. That was seen just last month as a coastal storm pushed ocean water, almost flowing into parking lots. So the winter storm tends to come with uh, not so much a surge, but big waves. And uh, with all the protective dune uh, destroyed, then, then it makes the coast more vulnerable. So what do we do? Dr. Ping Wang, a geoscientist at University of South Florida, says we need to rebuild our dunes once more, but through nature, it could take years. With some of our help, such as artificial dunes, vegetation, and uh, it may speed up that uh, natural processes. But still, Dr. Wang says it's hard to naturally build dunes on Southwest Florida beaches. And uh, the wind is not strong enough. The weather is too humid, so when the sand gets wet, they don't get blown up by dune. And also our sediment, we have sand, but we also have a lot of shells in the sand that kind of prevent the sand from getting blown into the dune. Unfortunately, it could take some time before our natural dunes are restored, but emergency burn projects like we had earlier this year could really help us boost our coastal resiliency. At Bowditch Point, meteorologist Andrew Shipley, Fox 4.